Hi, and welcome to our 93rd test and measurement video. Today, we'll look at a Picoscope Series 5000 PC-based oscilloscope. A PC-based oscilloscope, also known as a USB scope, is a front-end module that is connected to a user-supplied computer, usually a laptop. The instrument has individual channel inputs that accept probes or BNC cables. Two and four channel modules are available. Since the instrument makes use of the computer's processing and display capabilities, the setup is far less expensive for any given bandwidth and channel count than a conventional bench type or handheld oscilloscope. That is assuming, of course, that like most people, you already own or have access to a computer. To make the combination work, you need to install on your computer the proprietary software. This is available as a free download at picotech.com downloads, and it can be used in the demo mode even if you don't have the oscilloscope. Both Windows and versions for Mac are available. The Mac beta version is still a little slower and less stable, but it works. Cabling up the PC-based oscilloscope is absolutely simple. Just plug into a receptacle the furnished switching power supply and run a USB cable, also included, from module to computer. If you have a new style ultra thin laptop with mini USB slot, you'll need an adapter available at Amazon. So now, with the software installed, we're ready to power up the PC based oscilloscope. Just click on the icon in the computer and it's ready to go. The module has no external knobs or buttons, everything is done with computer mouse or alternately the keyboard. The Picoscope 5000 series has models ranging up to 200 megahertz analog bandwidth. We'll give this model a trial run and then talk about some additional specifications. For demonstrations, I like the internal waveform generator because you don't have to keep shifting probes. To get started, click File, Connect, Device. To display waveforms from the signal generator, run a BNC cable from the output on the module labeled GEN to the analog channel A, whose dedicated color is blue. The instrument is currently in the spectrum mode, and this is what square wave looks like in the frequency domain. Notice that all those high amplitude harmonics that are generated from the fast rising and falling edges of the square wave. In contrast, here is the sine wave. This exhibits a much stronger fundamental with relatively weak harmonics, probably due to the cable. The reason you see them at all is that the y-axis is laid out on a logarithmic decibel scale, which expands the lower amplitude region. The strong irregular line you see at the bottom is the greatly amplified noise floor of the instrument. In addition to sine and square, the waveform generator also has triangle, ramp up, ramp down, sine x over x, Gaussian, half sine, white noise, and DC voltage waveforms. Also, the waveform generator includes an arbitrary function generator permitting the user to create an unlimited number of customizable waveforms. The essence of the Picoscope is its three-tier toolbar. At the bottom are the channel controls, 
which turn on and off the individual channels and scale them separately. This can also be done automatically. In the middle toolbar, you turn on and off functions, perform auto set, choose between time and frequency domains, zoom in and out, configure the waveform generator, and activate the arbitrary function generator. The top toolbar is a computer typed menu bar from which may be chosen Picoscope 6, File, Edit, Views, Measurements, Tools, and Help. The Picoscope 5000 series PC based oscilloscopes are available in two and four channel versions with an additional 16 digital channels with MSO. Bandwidths are 60 to 200 megahertz. The maximum sampling is one gigahertz, one giga sample per second. Memory depth is 128 MS to 512 MS. Prices start at $1,155. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.